So we're gonna have some more fun today on Life Made Simple. The primary difference between an impact driver and an impact wrench, although the functionality is, is similar in concept, an impact driver is more about drilling screws into say wood or metal, whereas an impact wrench is more about uh, tightening or loosening fasteners such as nuts and bolts. There's a difference in the design in that an impact driver has a quarter inch hex and generally if you want to use it for like a lug nut, if you want to use it for like a half inch um, socket, then you're going to need an adapter. And so that's what this is. I've got a quarter inch hex to a half inch adapter, which I basically just snap into here. And this will allow me to use the impact driver with a half inch socket. So what we're going to do today is a few simple tests. We're going to take this impact driver. Uh, I'm going to attach a couple of sockets to it. We're going to test it out to see if it can break free uh, lug nuts on the car as well as on the truck. And for the truck scenario, I'm going to torque these lug nuts at different torque specs and see if this is enough to loosen it up. So for the first test here, we've got the car, the Acura TL, the lug nuts are torqued to 80 foot pounds. I've got this 5 amp hour generic battery on this Ryobi impact driver. I've got the quarter inch hex to half inch adapter here and I've got a 19 millimeter impact socket. So let's just see if this is enough to break it free. Alright, it obviously took some effort, uh, but it was able to break it free. Let's try one more here. Okay, that one came off a little bit easier. Okay, so for this next test, I've torqued the lug nut on my truck to 90 foot-pounds. So let's see if this is enough to break free a 90 foot-pound tightened lug nut. Okay, took some effort, but off it came. Okay, so for the next one, we're going to torque it up to 100. And we'll see if this is enough to break free 100 foot-pounds. Yep, looks like it still broke it free. Okay, one more test. I'm going to crank it up all the way to 120. Okay, 120 foot-pounds. Not quite. All right, well that was fun. What did we learn today? Although the impact driver and the impact wrench are similar design concept, they're actually a little bit different. We learned that this impact driver, although rated at 140 foot-pounds, was not enough to loosen a lug nut that was tightened to 120 foot-pounds. Now, it was enough to loosen a lug nut that was at 80, 90, or even 100 foot-pounds, but it did struggle a little bit at that 100 foot-pound. Simply put, this is probably the wrong tool uh, to be used as an impact wrench. Now, it's going to be helpful when you're under and around the vehicle, you wanna remove fasteners, that aren't overly tight. Uh, it'll definitely speed up your time to remove some of those bolts, to put back some of those bolts. But as far as an impact wrench goes, the impact driver, in my opinion, really isn't a replacement for that. The Ryobi P262 impact wrench isn't available in Canada yet, but when it becomes available, that's the one that I'm gonna be buying. It's rated at 450 pounds of fastening torque and up to 600 foot-pounds of nut-busting breakaway torque. So I'm going to be pretty excited to be using that, and I'm sure it's going to cover the, the wide gamut of cars and trucks that I end up working on. So stay tuned for the video review of that tool when I get my hands on it. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe for more Life Made Simple videos. As well, if you have any ideas for videos that you'd like us to create, leave a note in the comments and we'll be sure to check those out. Until next time, take care everybody, and remember, keep life simple.